Hi folks, how are you all doing today? I am back with a brand new video again and yeah, today let's do something new which is not like um, we have been doing so far, right? I just thought of something new and uh, I want you guys to explore Code Studio more, okay? So that's why I'm just bringing a new pattern series. Uh, I hope I have to continue doing this, right? And yeah, uh, so I have a pattern being created today, okay? I have some very cool and interesting pattern which I will be creating. As this is uh, my first time which I'm where I'm creating patterns, so this is going to be very simple yet interesting okay so before the starting off with anything i would like to tell you all guys so if you've not been watching my uh, channel or my playlist right please do go back to my channel folks hub okay and uh, watch all the playlists we have app lab series going on and we have uh, game series then we have programming concepts right and now i'm gonna start off with the pattern uh patterns playlist okay so yes please do go back and uh, watch all of these and i i hope you should be enjoying all my videos because um they are very much informative very concise right so you can actually um understand them very simply and very easily as uh, i really don't um you know take you through so much of the loop loopholes of everything or something like that so whichever is necessary whatever is necessary is actually taught right so um yeah my content will be very much accurate and precise for you all to learn so i hope you should be uh, enjoying all my videos so please do go back and uh, just check check all them out check all of them out right yeah now uh, and get coming back so i would now show you something which is very interesting okay so you're in code studio you know in this is the projects page and we have been working on this for quite a while now right so on the projects page you have a view full list right when you click on it you have drawing okay so you have frozen right so this is one of the very cool things which we can work upon and uh, yeah, I've come across this and yeah, I've started creating patterns on this. Okay, so let's create a very cool, interesting pattern, which you might have seen on the thumbnail, right? So we'll be creating that. So let's get started. Okay, so when you click on it, it would actually create uh, something similar to this. Okay, so it will create a blank new project for you, right? And uh, I have just created pattern one, I've renamed it, right? And now I'm just, um, I'm going to just create one uh, very cool pattern, okay? So we can explore these things here. So you have actions blocks here, okay? Uh, then we have loops, we have math, logic, functions, variables, right? So if you have not been watching all these things, like what are variables, functions, etc., please do go back to my channel. I have all these videos already created for you guys, right? So watch them to understand these concepts better and you can use them more appropriately if you know what is this concept, right? So yes, uh, I want you all to watch those series and then come back here, okay? So now uh, starting off with um, functions. So here we have two functions already predefined predefined basically so we have draw create a circle and create a snowflake of type square so i'm just dragging this okay so you have a uh, few options here right uh, i i'm not exploring all of these options today if you want yes we can check that out or else let's see so square would actually create a so yes this is uh snowflake of type square okay now let's see the next one which is parallelogram this is parallelogram this is cool <laughs> you can actually create these patterns on your own also yeah someday if i get time i would definitely do that line okay let's check this this is 
sounds interesting. Oh, this is so simple. This is very simple and very easy. Uh, I would definitely try this out. Uh, I, I can actually create this pattern for you guys. <laughs> Some other day, I'll just do that for you. Okay. And um, yeah, we have spiral. Let's check this. Oh, this is cool. This is something really cool, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so let's reset. And uh, let's see flower. Uh, seems, it seems to be interesting. Oh, cool. I'm going to create something similar to this today uh, in a bigger uh, way and in, in a bigger sense, basically. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I like this. Fractal. Let's see. Fractal. Oh, wow. Cool. Cool, right? It absolutely looks like a snowflake, basically. Okay. Oh, that's it. Mm, we have these. And but yes, uh, today I'm just going to use square. Uh, I like this uh, for my pattern for today. Okay. So create a snowflake of type square. So it will create a snowflake of type square and it stands again here. Right. So then, then I would actually um, want few circles to be coming on my pattern. Right. So um, I want four circles because that looks like a flower, right? So just I'll just go to loops. I'll just take this. I'll loop it four times, okay? Because I want four circles to be forming on the pattern. Like something like this, okay? First circle, second circle like this, third circle here, and fourth circle here, okay? So actually four circles would uh, neatly set on the screen, basically. So that's why I'm using loop four. Okay, repeat four is nothing but it's something similar to a for loop here, right? So it will repeat something four times, okay? Then, so next thing I would do is uh, I want to set the color. Definitely, we want set, uh, we want to set the color, right? I'll just set the random color so that it will be choosing its own uh, color, right? Uh, like not manually giving it always when you are uh, trying to execute it then what happens is um, it shall create something uh, with a different color always right not the same pattern with the same color of course same pattern it creates but with different colors when you are giving set color random color okay now we also saw in the functions category we have a circle already right so i'm just using this because you know why uh, I, we can actually we actually can create a circle on our own, right? That is also simple using a repeat loop. We can do that, okay? But again, why why do we have to struggle, right? When something is already there for you, okay? So what I will do, I'll just give the size. So I want to give ten as the size for now, right? Then, then what next can be uh, can we do, right? So we want it to adjust itself to draw the pattern actually okay uh, i'll show this to you before repeating this let's do this okay i'm just running it you will see something now see uh, so it just draws a circle like this right and after drawing a circle like this we want it to be turning a little bit and then drawing another circle, right? Opposite to this one, right? So to do this, what I will do is I will just turn left, go to actions. You will find this turn left block. So I'm just turning left by 90 degrees. You understand this, right? It is actually facing you now. When it is turning towards left, okay, it will face uh, towards the right of your screen now, okay? So turning left by 90 degrees. And then I want to uh, jump forward. Okay. So let's go to actions. I will just jump forward by a very small value because uh, I really don't want any big disturbance happening there. Right. So I'm jumping forward by three pixels only. Okay. Very small value. Right. So actually three pixels doesn't really make uh, a very lot of difference also. So that's why I'm just using three. 
and then uh, let's choose um, random color again because uh, it draws a bigger circle now okay i want to draw a bigger circle now so and i want another color to be chosen right i don't want the same color to be chosen again okay so that's why i'm setting a random color and let's go to functions and let's create a circle again but this time it should be bigger okay so it should be like let's let's give 13 so that here we already gave 10 right so this will be 13 let's reset and run this okay so you have one circle here one circle here right and i want the same thing to be happening four times so that you get four circles right one upon each other okay so let's check that out um let's drag it over here i want to place it over here i want this into this let's reset run so it draws one second third i hope you understood this right so this is how uh, we are creating uh, a pattern correct but yes two circles is again like it is a very small pattern being created correct i want another big circle to be there uh, after all these things okay then what i will do i will just go to loops get another repeat loop okay so just get this uh, i'm just placing this down here then i want to again turn left because it is actually facing me again uh, and i don't want that to happen now so turn left i'll again take a small jump forward block because i want to move ahead and then it has to draw the pattern so then um, i'll just say uh, three pixels again because i don't really want a very big change to be happening so and i'll just set the color to a random color this time let's just create a bigger circle so that it comes after this right like this very big circle okay so it shall be 16 um as i'm already using 10 first then 13 that means i increase three pixels so from 13 to 16 i'm increasing three more pixels so that i have this uh, same kind of a gap right that's that's the reason so let's check this out now okay cool cool good yes 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 i wanted this right and now you can see it is absolutely cool correct now if you want you can actually draw a smaller circle within this too if you want okay if you don't want you can actually leave it off like this also right so let's check that out uh, what goes so what i can do i can just uh, repeat the same thing um yeah i can actually place it uh, here also uh, let's place it under this instead of writing um, 16 I would say seven because I want a smaller circle this time and I would not say jump forward by three. Okay, let's delete this block. Let's see what happens. I hope this should be creating a smaller circle. Let's check it out. Okay, come on, come on yes yes it's absolutely creating the smaller one too <laughs> wow wow so yeah yes this is all right we can uh, do whatever change we need right and you can absolutely create some cool patterns like this and i want you all to uh, explore more and create more patterns okay and do share all those links with me i will be very happy to check all of them out right and yeah uh, so this was all about our first pattern on frozen okay so yes and um, i'll be meeting you all in our in our next session again okay so yes i will try to create uh, more pattern series 
right uh, i i shall be ensuring that i will get uh, more videos in this pattern series okay so i hope you enjoyed this video for a change i just thought of doing this but yeah it seems to be interesting for me now and yeah we shall continue this uh, thing right okay so this was all about it and yeah if if you have not been watching my series you know what you have to do please go back to my channel folks up do watch all the video series we have uh, in place right do watch them in sequence so that you have more and better understanding okay yeah so if please like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks up and thank you so much for watching okay bye bye guys and have a great day all